Hey guys, welcome back to Elvis Car Reviews. I hope that every single one of you is having a beautiful day. In today's video, we are going to talk about if you should daily drive your EcoBoost Mustang. Now, I received a message on my Instagram uh, from a viewer asking me advice on if they should buy an EcoBoost Mustang and daily drive it all year long or buy the EcoBoost Mustang and then save them some more money and buy a bigger car, uh, something for a thousand to two thousand dollar that they will drive, drive around anytime they cannot uh, drive the EcoBoost Mustang. Now, the person who reached out to me is relatively young. He doesn't want two cars on his insurance. It will cost him a lot. So he's wondering if the EcoBoost can handle, be driven every single day or at least all year long. Now, usually when someone pick a daily driver, there are a lot of factors that goes into their decision making. Usually in a daily driver, people want something that is practical, reliable, uh, that won't cost too much to maintain and that will be able to take on pretty much any situation as far as the weather goes. So now this video will be broken down in, two, in three parts. We will talk about the practicality of the EcoBoost Mustang. We will talk about the maintenance cost, overall maintenance of the EcoBoost Mustang. And we will talk about the winter driving. I mean, if you live in an area where it doesn't snow, you will be spared that part. Well, the answer to that question is yes, and here's why. You see, the EcoBoost Mustang has four seats, and the arrangement is two adults in the front and two children in the back, or two really small adults in the back, but I wouldn't recommend putting uh, adults in the back. Now, you might say the, your ideal daily driver vehicle must have four or five seats or must be able to carry five full-size adults at all time. Well, let me give you this statistic. The average adult, the average single adult ten, who, who owns a four-door vehicle with five seats tend to only use those rear seats 25% of the time, unless you're driving for a ride-sharing company, you tend to only use those back seats 25% of the time, which means 75% of the time, those are empty, you're not carrying anybody, and you have the trunk to put your stuff. And speaking of trunk, the EcoBoost Mustang has 14 cubic inch of space in the trunk. To put it in perspective, the 2020 Toyota Yaris, which is a compact sedan, has 15 cubic inch of space in the trunk. So as far as the seating configuration and the trunk, you have more than enough space. The EcoBoost Mustang has a fuel economy rating of 22 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon in the highway if you go with the 2015 to 2017 generation. If you go with the 2018 and newer, that number drop a little bit to 21 city and 29 to 30 highway. It's not a Prius, it's not a Toyota Corolla, but those numbers are more than enough for people who just go to work and back. Speaking of fuel, the car can use 87 octane all the way to 93 octane. It's recommended to use 93 because with 93 octane, you will get all the 310 horsepower. But if you use 87, you will barely notice the difference. Is it expensive to maintain? I would say no. The car uses 6 quarts of 5W30 as far as oil, and I personally use Mobile One full synthetic oil and the Mobile One filter. Now, if you use the regular oil, the oil change interval is every 3,000 miles, but if you use the full synthetic, it's every 5,000 miles. I personally recommend that you use the full synthetic oil. Regardless of the brand you go with, use the full synthetic oil. As far as other regular maintenance item goes, 
Um, I would say the tires are might be more on the expensive side. Again, it depends on which tires you get. Uh, but keep in mind that the car, the EcoBoost Mustang tend to come with smaller tire in the front and larger in the back. So do not do a tire rotation. Um, and the front tires tend to outlast the rear tires so when you for every two rear tires you change the front so you don't change them as often as you think you would and uh, the great way to do it is to have two separate sets of tire we will get into tires in depth when we get to the winter driving section one other thing I will mention, if you're looking to buy a EcoBoost Mustang for daily driving, um, just daily driving, something that looks good and to drive you around, please go with the automatic transmission. Right now I have the manual transmission, which is not bad. But if you have been watching the news lately, there is a lawsuit against Ford because of this manual transmission called the MT82. Apparently, a few uh, people have reported some fault with the transmission. I personally haven't really had an issue. The only issue I had with this whole setup was the transmission was locking me out of third gear but that was i think more of a clutch than the actual transmission uh but it was fixed uh, for relatively cheap if you guys are interested i can make the enti an entire video on how i fix that uh, third gear lockout but beside that i mean to avoid this whole situation just go with the six-speed auto it's much easier to drive especially if you have city drive if you do city driving a lot so go with the six-speed auto rather than the mt82 just stay away from the mt82 and if you're getting the uh, newer ecoboost mustang go with the 10 speed rather than the six speed automatic uh, six speed manual and believe me there is this whole myth that the manual is more fun Test drive both of them and tell for yourself. To me, they they do just good. And again, the 6R80, which is the name of this six-speed automatic transmission, is an incredible transmission. Now, if you live anywhere in the world where it doesn't snow, well, this part doesn't concern you. The answer to the question, can you daily drive an EcoBoost Mustang all year long? Yes, you can. Now, for those of us that live in the coldest part of the planet Earth, um, last year I drove my EcoBoost Mustang all year long and I bought uh, Goodyear Ultra Grip tires. Now, my car came with 19 inch rim and the only problem I had was it, it, the tires were rubbing a little bit just because the ribs were so big I had to get bigger tires. But this, beside that, the car did amazing. I drove this car in a snowstorm going, uh, coming back from New York City. I drove this car to Chicago and back, I think in the middle of a snow and the car drove pretty good and these tires are called Goodyear Ultra Grip WRT Ice uh, Ultra Grip Ice WRT they were amazing amazing so the best setup is buy yourself a set of summer tires don't bother with all season and then buy yourself a set of winter tires if you have a setup like that, I guarantee you those tires will last at least two or three years. But if you get all seeds, then you will wear out of them pretty quick. Well done. Outstanding. 